Alright, these are the settings I do in uh, Betaflight. Since I'm running VL Heli SESCs, I activate multi shot, uh, disarm motors regardless of throttle. So if you uh, need to disarm quickly, turn that off. Uh, 1500, keep that. My minimum throttle I set to 1070. You'll want to set that to whatever your motors are spinning at smoothly and, and low enough. We went over that and the ESC setup. Uh, maximum throttle I do 1990. I have my ESC set to 2000 max and 1024 minimum. Set that up in Bill Heli. Minimum commands 1000. For the way I have my uh, flight controller board, I have that to 90 degrees. Something that is good to do is enable your accelerometer and when you go into your setup tab whenever you move your quad around you want to make sure this moves the correct way that's a good way to know if you've got it set up right then you can turn your accelerometer off if you never plan to use it but that's a good way to verify so going back over to the configurations tab uh, if you're running S bus you'll First, before doing this, need to go into your ports tab. UART 1 on this is uh, the USB, so you want to leave that one on. UART 2 is my smart port telemetry for my XSR, so you want to change that, have that be smart port. UART 3 is your serial RX, which we're using SBUS. It would be the same if you're using a Spectrum satellite. So going back to the configuration, of course if you change anything here, save and reboot before you go off. Back to configurations, we would change that to be RX serial, that's going to be your Spectrum satellite S bus, or any other serial receiver. Uh, then here you're doing an S bus uh, voltage battery voltage monitoring this is when your onboard beeper will go off I do 3.3 .3 and 4.5 here I crank that up because I use HV battery sometimes so whatever it is at default will beep sometimes whenever you connect it 4.35 4.3 I think is what they charge up to so I don't really care about maximum cell I just don't want it to beep and annoy me uh, none of that no current meter on this board if you're running a F three board or greater you can increase this more so an F3 is usually capable of 4k 4k this is where you'll want to look at your CPU load down here you can increase that till it uh, make sure you're uh, not overloading the CPU scrolling down for this board that since we get telemetry to the Tyrannus we want that on I'm going to mess with the LED strips at some point, so I'll have this enabled. If you're never going to mess with it, may as well turn that off. Air mode, I always want that on. So I don't have it on a switch, so just turn it on here. Uh, don't have support for any of these other things. They're for transponders on this board. Uh, it does do some black box, but I've, I really don't do it, so I just have that off. Whatever you change, save and reboot. I didn't change anything, so I'm not going to save here. PID tuning, this is a whole nother topic, but uh, right now I've just got the stock PIDs on it. I could definitely increase my P on it since it's the next frame. Uh, I increased this up some, the set point, the D set point. This, hit the little question mark, it'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, basically it makes it respond more quickly but maybe less smooth so for racing 
I'm not worried about such smoothness as it as I am going and stopping at the, the points I want it to stop so you mess with that a little bit um, and of course here on your PID the stop data flight flies really well but it's something that you may want to mess with but I wouldn't I wouldn't mark down what it is before I mess with it in case you want to just go back uh, RC rates and super rate tone it down a little bit on a race quad because I don't want to especially when you get nervous when you're racing you don't want going all over the place because you've got uh, shaky thumbs so if you're running freestyle and all you may want to have higher rates so you can flip faster uh, in your racing bring that down some so this is what I'm running now it is one and one in RC rate and it's 0 .6, 0 .6, 0 .65. So, it's still fun, enough for fun acro, and oh, if I was just straight up freestyle, I'd, I'd have my, that up more, and I actually plan, you can set up profiles and put those on a switch to where uh, you can flip between them, so it's something I may uh, mess with uh, in the future, just have one to have a little faster roll rate for, for messing around. receiver tab the other video I've shown you on setting all these to 1500 minimum and welcome to open TX disengage so you definitely want uh, most of these are TAER you want to make sure they're assigned correctly that roll pitch and all these are doing the right thing but you want to go set up your endpoints to be 2000 1000 low and set up uh, your, use your sub trims on your radio to set up to where it's right at 1500. If you don't have that right, it's going to feel like it's drifting on you all the time. It's going to drive you crazy and you're going to think you're, something's not right and you're going to set up calibration and all that. And many of the times we go in and it's somebody's midpoints are like at 1505. So it gets a lot of people. It's gotten me a time or two and I, you think yeah, I know better. I, still happens. So. But this will see here. RC dead band. If you have like noise at the middle where it's bouncing around a lot, you can increase that to like a two or three for RC dead band, and it can help uh, keep it from moving around. Modes. This is where we set up our arm disarm. Which I believe I just went over that in another video, but just slide these around to, to be what you need. Uh, in order to arm it, disarm it, set off your beeper, and any flight modes. And the motors tab is pretty nice for investigating your motors are, are running smooth or you got them in the right order one, two, three, four. And finding what your minimum throttles are. So, and of course, anytime you have your flight pack in, have your props off. You can hook up your uh, USB cable only if you want to change some settings with your props on, and it's not going to do anything. You can't power your motors through the USB. So, if you just want to change a setting like that, that's not a big deal. But anytime you, if you hit some radios, you have to connect a flight pack for it to to see what's going on. Uh, so definitely disconnect your props because people get cut up or they hit something wrong and, and props start spinning. The LED strip, I've not messed with that. There's other videos that can explain. There's 32 ma maximum LEDs you can control by different modes and everything. Seems pretty neat. I'm going to try it out. Uh, CLI, if you want to see what your settings currently are, you can type dump. And it'll tell you all kinds of stuff. Uh, I've got 30 seconds left, so I'm gonna. And the other thing I like to do is where it arms at any angle, so you can do set small underscore angle equal equal 180. You know, equal 180, and that will let it arm at any angle. Uh, 
So that's a nice little feature, and that's all.